Grandpa Wolf and Wolfie walk to school together every day. There is a nice paved path for them to walk on with all the other animals, but it was crowded. Wolfie was always looking for interesting shortcuts. On Monday, Wolfie said, Grandpa, let's go through the grapevine. That day, he came to school with big purple stains all over his fur. And that night, Grandpa had to wash him in a big bath before bedtime. On Tuesday, Wolfie said, let's go through the pond. That day, he came to school all wet and shiny. And that night, Grandpa went to bed with a sniffly nose. On Wednesday, Wolfie said, let's go through the dandelions. That day, he came to school looking like a, well, a dandelion. At night, Grandpa laughed. Oh, you look like a porcupine. On Thursday, Wolfie said, let's go through the woods. And Grandpa said, no. And all the way on the nice paved path to school, Wolfie said, but why, why? Why can't I go through the woods, Grandpa? That night when Wolfie was all tucked in bed, Grandpa told Wolfie a story. It was such a scary story, so awful, that from that day on, Wolfie would not go to sleep unless, unless Grandpa told him the story again. How about listening to Grandpa's story too? Would you like that? When I was not much older than you, my mother, my great-grandmother, said Wolfie and sat up in bed. Yes, lie down, your great-grandmother, my dear mother Wolfie used to send me every day to visit my own grandpa, who lived in a little green hut with a yellow roof at the very edge of the woods. Once she sent me with a great shiny apple for grandpa. Once I carried him a tail full of sausages. Once I carried a jug full of honey for my grandpa. But once I helped Mother Wolfiette pack a basket with crumble pie and raspberries and a great big bottle of apple juice. And I ran off to the woods. I didn't want Grandpa to wait for me. But when I got there, I realized I had left my Grandpa's basket at home. I was in a hurry, so I decided to take a shortcut back home. And that's when things started to go wrong. I strayed off the path I knew so well, and suddenly I was surrounded by people. People? Wolfie was so excited. He threw off his blanket and sat up in bed. The big kind or the little kind? The little kind, said Grandpa. If you want to hear the story, you have to lie down and close your eyes now. Grandpa waited silently until Wolfie finally lay back down in bed. He tucked him in his blanket. He stroked Wolfie's soft ears. Did you brush your teeth, Grandpa asked. Grandpa, I want to hear the story, said Wolfie, and almost sat back up in bed again. Okay, okay. It was a great big pack of little people, right there on the path where I was walking. And they were all screaming, Wolf! I ran and I ran and just when I thought of all the little people's voices that disappeared, I heard one. It was a little girl's voice. Where are you going, I said, to my grandma's house. Right at the edge of the forest, she said. That's where my grandpa lives, I thought. I only have to follow her and I won't get lost again. And so I did. I followed her right to the edge of the forest. And there they were, the two little green huts with the red window sills and yellow roof. But then an awful thing happened. It was so late and so dark. Each of us walked into the wrong hut. Oh, Wolfie, it was just awful. Instead of my grandpa, I found an old woman in the bedroom, and she started screaming, Wolf! I ran out of the hut. 
only to see the little girl who was rushing out of the other hut, screaming, Wolf! Wolf! I guess she met my dear old grandpa. What did the little girl look like, asked Wolfie. It was a long time ago, Grandpa said. Oh, but I do remember one thing. She had a red riding hood on her head. Wolfie started laughing. He laughed and he laughed. I know who she is, said Wolfie. There's an old lady near school who always tells everyone that her name is Old Red Riding Hood. And at once upon a time, when she was called Little Red Riding Hood, she found a wolf in her grandma's bed. So that was your grandpa. And it wasn't her grandma's bed. She was just in the wrong house. What a funny misunderstanding. You and she should meet, Grandpa. Oh, Red Riding Hood is a really nice lady. Wolfie was very excited. It took him a long time to finally fall asleep. And when he did, he dreamed of marvelous shortcuts to school and of marvelous misunderstandings that are the stuff stories are made of.